I am starting a flow-through worm bin. Uh, so I thought I'd share a couple of thoughts on what I've been doing for the last six, seven months with my Worm Factory 360. I start off with bedding that is one quarter shredded paper. It's one quarter shredded cardboard from eggs or from coffee containers. The shredded cardboard really fluffs up as you can see which means that there's a lot of air that is held in for the worms. I mix the two papers together dry and by doing the, mixing them together dry you don't have the problem of the clumping with the pa shredded paper. I, then I take the paper and mix it with wet coconut core so this is the other half of the bedding mixture and it really makes a very very good moist bedding very homogenous the paper is spread out for the worms to eat and to live in to start off with a couple of other items that I add to the food as I'm going along one thing is eggshells I mention that only because I grind up the eggshells in a coffee grinder to make sure that I don't have large pieces of eggshells that are lasting three, four, five months. The eggshells will add calcium, it adds grit for the worms to uh, use with their gizzard so that they can digest their food. I also add a ground up brown leaves that I've grown over them a couple of times with the lawnmower and uh, I sift it through, sift it a little bit because again worms obviously have small mouths so I sift to get the smallest particles of the uh, brown leaves but I try not now, I try not to put too much leaves in I had the experience once last summer where I think one of the problems I did was put in too much brown leaves so it started to really heat up in composting so I take it easy as far as the brown leaves are concerned uh, we're very fortunate here in Rhode Island where we have a uh, uh, rabbit rescue. So I go over there and they have literally tons of rabbit manure that's piled up and has been composting for years. They're more than happy for me to go over and pick up the rabbit manure, which is a, uh, called a cold manure. It's not hot manure uh, like cow or horse. So some, some worm bedders actually use the uh, rabbit manure directly, but I just I've been adding it here to my uh, the, the food. Uh, <clears throat> I started off seven months ago with a Worm Factory 360. You can get the Worm Factory 360 from the Worm Ladies of Charleston in Rhode Island. You can also buy the core. You can buy worms from these gals. Uh, they do a terrific job of going around Rhode Island, educating in schools. In, in farmers markets. Um, I start off with seven trays <coughs> with 2,000 worms. So now, you know, I've probably got, I'm guessing, about 10, 12,000 worms that are heavily populated in the uh, worm bin. So since these is pretty well filled, I started up uh, my flow through worm bin. I wanted to document this before I really put all the food into it. So as you can see, I use this, uh, uh, just a regular rack, metal rack, that has uh, the racking that was on it. I was a little concerned with the spacing. It might be too, too large to hold the compost once the couple of sheets of, once the couple of, sheets of paper have uh, gone into the compost. <clears throat> so what I did was I also added on a metal uh, green, uh, mesh which is about a, a half an inch. Now I know that by itself this half an inch probably would be too small for the compost to go through so I've got a an aluminum blade <clears throat> it was a, a metal piece that I uh, beveled I put an edge on both sides and I beveled it up to give about about a half an inch space between the grate and the blade so I'm going to be slicing it off I, I'm hoping about six months from now, slicing off the compost from the bottom. I use cable ties, nice and simple, to tie it up with. The uh, bin itself is four and a half feet long, 
Uh, it's a foot and a half deep and two feet high. So six, seven months from now, once this gets full, the worms, most of them should stay in the top six, seven inches. Down in the bottom, <clears throat> the worm eggs will have already been hatched by that time, and the worms, even the babies, will have moved up. So once I start to harvest, I should have just the worm castings falling down to the bottom onto the floor. So what I'll do, I've got my boat hoist, the wench, to pull the blade across. And that's what I'm hoping for right now. If you have uh, any questions or comments, I would appreciate it. I hope you enjoy this short video. Thank you. God bless.